contention and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man, but he has put in all the right work and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done tonight. You know, when you've been there and you get back here, it's not new. There are a lot of things that are familiar, but how do you change the result? How do you assure that in this time, during this chance, you ultimately walk away with the championship? He's been here before, John. The team's been here before. They are confident that this time they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed, he's got power, all the tools to wrest the belt away. We'll see if we have a new UFC heavyweight champion on that side. So with much fanfare, here is John Jones back in defense of his UFC Heavyweight Championship. Remarkable the manner in which he came back from a three-year layoff. Figures to present an even better version here tonight. Well, so many people questioned or wondered when John Jones would come to heavyweight. When he did, he looked better than he ever has inside the UFC's octagon. Winning the Heavyweight Championship and reasserting himself as the dominant force in mixed martial arts. John Jones once again steps into the octagon looking to build on his legacy. And we don't know how long for this game John Jones is, so enjoy him while he is here. We'll see how it goes tonight in this UFC Heavyweight Championship title defense. John Jones ready to add to his appreciable legacy here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. We send it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, El Terrible. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting a reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. John Bones! John! Herb Dean, our referee for this Ready. one. All right, so the UFC is back at the O2 Arena here in London, England. The adult beverages are flowing. And we're going to feed off this crowd tonight, as usual, here in the UK. You know, a lot of times we sit next to the Octagon, and because we wear these headphones, you can barely hear. When we come to London, headphones or not, you are going to know that these people are loud, they're raucous, and they're ready to put on a show. They're ready to also cheer hard for the English fighter. Gets to the single collar tie. Oh, nice takedown defense. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one hard? All right, no surprise to see Johnny Bones Jones open with some of those long range weapons and finding some early success in this one. That's exactly what he does. He throws the front kick to the leg, and he throws those lead kicks to the body. He's long, he's 6'4 for the weight class. Oh, he jumped guillotine right away. Oh, that Kelly is tight. Good job by the champ there. Slide back up. All right, he's got him in the north south. Oh, he's stepping over the head here. Ooh, that Kimura looks tight. 
That Kimura looks tight. He's got to crank down, though, John. He's got him in position. Now he's got to go find the finish. No, he's out. The fight's going to continue. Oh, my goodness. I thought it was over. I thought this fight was over. Oh, you got to love the ground and pound strikes here. Well, he's no stranger to being in this position. Strong work from the top here by Jones. Another ground and pound strike lands. Oh, he reversed position there on the ground, and he's now in the dominant position. There it is. Now he's going to mouth. Now he's got a good body position, yo. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. And very effective with the ground and pound. Making all these shots count. Oh, right into Mount. You have to be so well-rounded once you get to the top of these divisions. You cannot just be a knockout guy. You got to be able to change it up. Jones is trying for a submission here. Armin very tight. Wow, somehow, some way he gets the arm out. It looked like he was done, John, but he was able to stay comfortable, stay patient, and now he finds himself safe. Great job landing from the top position. Another ground and pound strike lands. Mm, nice. Working in half guard here, making these shots count. Getting the ball here. Late round action now, and the storyline has been John Jones really from the outset. The ground and pound has been absolutely vicious. Tonight. Yeah, just getting back to himself, J.A. Getting back to, I'm the guy that's going to take you down and put your head through the canvas. He got takedowns early. He made sure that he took advantage of being in dominant position and made his opponents pay. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step. Beautiful submission attempt here. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke on the Look at him. He's starting to punish him. Oh, he slams him down. Using straight power to escape that triangle choke. Great job. Great technique. I mean, great physicality yeah. by this youngster. And just when you thought he might get submitted, instead he turns defense into offense and power bombs his opponent on the canvas. His inside leg kick is there by Jones. Let's go, push. One minute here to go round one. And the kick lands. Counter jab snaps the head back. That should get his attention. Beautiful setup to the leg kick. Get you out of your seat. Beautifully done by him there. Oh, man. I jumped up and down. I watched the Olympics are a big <laughs> martial arts fight. You don't see single legs this good unless you're watching a real high-level wrestler. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. They're so evenly matched. They're going to the tap. Oh, big punch man. Round one winding down here. Guillotine yeah, jump. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the outcome of the show in that defense. All right, so there's the end of the round. You know, few things more exciting in mixed martial arts than a submission, and he nearly had one there. He almost had it. He had it locked in. He thought the fight was over, but his opponent was able to escape. But the next time, if he goes back to that position, maybe he gets the finish he wants so bad. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Second round underway. All right, next round is underway as our UFC producer Rapper might say, a grappler's delight submission attempts on both sides. I mean, everybody that loves grappling is very excited after watching that round. Both fighters attempted multiple submissions. No one to this point has been able to get it. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Leg kick is true. 
he gets to the single collar time. Well, you gotta like that as a two-time United States Olympian as he goes to the ankle pick to get the takedown. I mean, it speaks to the wrestling acumen. Just the ability to find any takedown available. What a beautiful ankle pick. Just missed with the left there. Nice kick. Position over submission as he bails on the sub. I think that's a great job. You gotta make sure you don't end up in a worse position because you're trying to score a submission. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder rounds. Oh, there's that patented leg kick. Yeah, he's got to. He's gotta start checking kicks. Big shot to the head. Continue to go to the head. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues. Oh, guillotine, guillotine here. Ooh, that submission looks tight. Oh, looks like he's countering here with maybe a Von Flew. He's got the side mount. Oh, he escapes. He got out. He, wow, that is great submission defense. All right, this position now, what we call the north-south. If you're the bottom fighter, what are you trying to do to get out of harm's way? Man, it's tough on the bottom. It's very tough because everything hurts, right? right. It doesn't matter that they're not completely driving the shoulder in. It just, everything hurts. So you wait for your opponent to go to his next action. And when he does, you go and attack the hand. You get to your knees and you attack the hand with both hands and try to peel the lock so you can get to your feet. Look at the redness now, almost immediately on the right side of his body. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Now he's going full mount. This is a terrible position. Oh, what a moment there as they make their way back to the feet. Crowd may be drunk, but they're absolutely right. Yeah, the crowd loves the stand-up fight. So all that grappling wasn't what they wanted to see. They're back up on their feet now, and they're popping for it. They're excited. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he can cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Big shot lands for both guys. Another take down land. He's got to start throwing down. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big round and pound. There it is. Now he's on the mount. Arm triangle attempt here. Nice arm triangle setup. Oh, look out, folks. That is tight. It looks like it's getting going. It's work. Come on. Working out Ezekiel choking. He somehow gets out. He just had to stay patient. It's so unfamiliar. If you panic, you're going to get submitted. He didn't panic. Oh, he got to a spot. 30 seconds to go. That's a great kick landed there. 20 seconds to go, round two. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook. He's got the far side pull. without issue, and the horn sounds on round two. Great work. One that last round. This round, you want to keep mixing things up. Use your punches, use your knees, use your kicks. You want to see you work that way. All right, let us now look back at some of the highlights from that round, and there just aren't that many guys on this roster that can keep up this offensive wrestling pace over 15 or 25 minutes. But he's one of those guys. He is one of those guys that's able to continuously take you down even 
if you get up over and over. He has this ability to maintain that pace and pressure that he can wear his opponents down. That's why you see him get so many finishes fight. as the fight progresses. Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Jones is in half goal. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Oh, right into mouth. This is where he wants to be. Posture's up. Oh, and he lands a brutal strike to the head. Pretty athletic off his back to avoid that strike from the top. We'll see what he does here. He postures up and lands to the head. It's over. John Jones takes the judges out of it, gets the finish. So what a moment in this man's career. A huge finish in front of a capacity crowd. After party's gonna be on fire. How about it? I mean, I'm just sitting here stunned because to watch a young athlete have a performance like this was really amazing. The finishing instincts, his ability to close the show, it was next level. It was amazing, John. All right, we now go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at one minute, 25 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by TKO and still the undisputed USC heavyweight champion of the world, John Bones Jones! All right, so as usual, John Jones leaving an opponent in his wake. He gets it done tonight by TKO. He does a really good job of setting you up. John Jones gets to his position, gets his opponent hurt, and gets the TKO victory. It's what we expected early, and now we are seeing Jones, as he's going on in his career, do the same thing. And whether it's a light heavyweight or heavyweight, the power has translated another finish in a career full of them for the future Hall of Famer, John Jones.